Hello, hello, my name is Ashley Collins, aka the Onto Dragons. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Breakup Diaries. Don't mind this. Just ignore this the whole video. Um, I already said this, but I fell at work, and um, it's not that bad. I, I compare it to you know how when you go to the doctor and they put the thing the thing on your arm to test your um your butt your blood pressure, and then when it squeezes, like it it hurts a little bit. That's just what it feels like on my shoulder, and I can't lift above my head. So um, I told my managers that like I'm fine, I just can't lift anything heavy. So I went to work, and they handed me a heavy ass tray, and I said I can't lift this, but I'll try. And then I dropped the whole tray of food, and I was like, I told you I can't do it. And then they were like, so you need a doctor's note to prove that you can't do it. So I went to the doctor, um, they gave me an X-ray, and then they gave me this. So that's my life for the next week. Um, but using my left hand more often, really useful. Um, it's it hurts because it feels like everything is like I'm lift. It's, it's like I'm lifting weights constantly. So now my left arm hurts. Now my left thumb hurts. Don't mind me. I'm just falling apart. That's not the topic of this video though. So I've had all my life inappropriate comments from men, and. <laughs> A joke that me and my friends will use will be like, who raised you? You know, like what, what did you really think about what you were saying? So, um, I went to handy dandy social media and I was like, who taught you how to talk to women? And I got a lot of responses to this. So let's, let's listen to some of the responses, shall we? Um, flirting isn't something that I do purposely. I just tell someone what comes to my mind and how I think of them. Now, this is very interesting. Should I just save this for the end? I'm just going to read the comments first, and then we're going to we're gonna delve deep into it at the end. It's so weird only talking with one hand. I can use, I can use, I can move it. It just feels, it just feels a lot more comfortable resting it, you know? Like, it feels so good to lay down. But when, I, when I'm up and I'm, and I'm active, like, at, at some point, like, my arm starts to, like, pound, you know? So it feels good to rest it into something does that make sense okay so um um no one this is gonna be a pattern i came from a super religious family i'm it's why i'm so awkward now um i was t i was self-taught by seeing how other guys did what worked what didn't um 90s tv and movies when i saw friends talking to girls and how they needed to put on this act so i tried to be honest instead of the hey baby stuff I hate, I hate the pet name shit, because it's like, I'm not your girlfriend, you know what I'm saying, like, let's, let's, let's reserve that if I decide to move forward, don't hate baby me, don't hate beautiful me, because it's like, first of, all, first of all, that's not my name, and then it's like, it makes me suspicious, do you know my name in the first place, you don't, you don't, um, um, proud self-taught seducer, you silver tongue devil you, <laughs> um, some family, some friends, some shows, some movies. Um, my mom, once again, noticed the pattern. As far as asking for dances, sex, that was my cousins. You always ask the females about advice about females. It's a rule. I love when guys call females females. Um, <laughs> nobody. I'm learning. Okay. Um, I never was taught. Notice the pad pattern. Just learn behavior. Myself, notice the patterns. Um, if you've never been intimidated or made uncomfortable, um, he has not learned to calibrate and combine EQ and social expression. I just wrote down what people wrote. Um, trial and error, or from trial and error, or from older men in life. Um, men do what works. That's very true. Um, with the exception of don't hit women, um, mostly t TV, friends, trial and error. Um, <laughs> I feel like no one really answered my question. And it's like, I don't think that there should be, but should men take a class on how to how to communicate with women? Because because there is a difference. You know, there there is a difference of, of how we how we think. How, how we act in our day-to-day -day lives. The comment when they said that, um, let me relax because I'm gonna be at work all night and I, I, I'm gonna make sure to pick, pick my, my pills with me. So, it's been proven that when you ask a guy what's wrong and they say nothing, sometimes it is just 
nothing with us females we're always constantly thinking always constantly wor worried about x y and z or sometimes the guy is thinking like i wonder if i jump <laughs> if i jump off the car will, will i land on one leg or two feet it's ridiculous the things that that run through men's minds all day every day and also it's improving obviously like men have high t high testosterone so testosterone makes you do stupid shit for lack of better phrasing not calling you stupid also not gonna apologize to you but um and i know that for some reason for some reason men feel so free to talk about sex with me and it's like once again i'm not your girlfriend you know like i'm not your homeboy you know what i'm saying like it's so it's it's it's, it's like stop stop you know but um so yeah, so um, unless we are having sex, then we, we can have that conversation. But if we're just friends, I don't want to have that conversation with you. Um, but um, what you call it? Testosterone. And also men tend to have higher sex drives than women. So what is it? What, what's this, the stat? That men think about sex every, every, is it every two minutes? Which is like, that's a lot of time of your day thinking about something that you're not actively doing right now, you know? So, it's really, so like that person said, men tend to just act. act. Men are t tend to be more, more impulsive in, in their actions and in their thoughts, you know what I'm saying? So um, w w when men say things like, no one taught me how to, how to speak to women, it worries me a little bit about not this present tense but th this this next generation and the lack of a male presence in the household notice also how a lot of the, the men said my mom taught me where was your father where, where where were the male influences in your life where were your coaches where, where were your pastors you know where was that male influence to tell you that hey man don't just just walk up to him and be like hey girl hey girl come here don't do that bro you know what i'm saying um, which I still get for some fucking reason. Um, so I was thinking to myself, it's, there's a lot of dating coaches out right now, right? And a lot of the clientele are women. Women trying to learn how to communicate with men. Women trying to ha, ha, trying to land the guy, you know. So why aren't men signing up for these classes, you know? Because in an age where a woman can do anything, in an age where a woman has so many options, and in an age where women, I don't really need a man in my life i don't really need you to do anything for me so what can you bring to my table that i can't do for myself there was a study called universe 25 where they had a colony of mice now you know i don't like comparing humans to animals but like let me finish this for a second called universe 25 where they had this colony of mice where they gave the mice everything that they needed. They had an unlimited supply of, of food, water, all the, everyone had had a mate. And after the, forgive me if I'm quoting this wrong, after the 315th day, everything went down. The, they started, um, <laughs> They started killing each other. They started eating their eating their their children. They started um, raping the, the the female. They started. They, there was with something I found very inter very interesting. They um, some a couple of the mice had their like their own cult where they would um, groom themselves and they and they ostracized them from the other mice, which made me think of like celebrities. Um, and it made and it made me think to myself. When you have everything that you need, you you tend to still complain about stuff. And in an age where you have these dating apps where you can find Mary Jane Sue and Bob if that's your thing right around the corner, but then you still complain about that you need a mate. You complain about your high sex drive and you 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 promote promote sex workers all the time, but you're still lonely. And, and, then you're, and then you're still confused why you can't lend a mate as well. But something that was very interesting that the the scientists the scientists did was 
they gave the mice tasks. They gave the mice a purpose. So are we living in an age of rather than weak men, are we living in an age of purpose? Are we living in an age of purposeless men where they're just wandering around with no aim, no goal? What does that do, have to do with talking to women? Um, 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 like I was saying, I don't like small talk. I don't like the, the reaching for conversation. I would just rather, someone asked me the other day, if you could have a theme song to your life, what would it be? And I was like, that's one of the most interesting questions anyone's ever asked me. And I think that the whole, hey girl, hey beautiful, what are you doing thing, it's, it's not engaging enough. And it, it, it's just a sign that things are going to get worse down the line. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, there are so many dating coaches right now that can teach you how to communicate with women without having to make them feel uncomfortable. You know, you look sexy. Oh, damn, girl, you thick. What's your girl supposed to say to that? And I, and I also know what you're thinking. Some girls like that kind of attention, right? Some girls love that kind of attention. Then stop giving that, them that attention. Can you imagine if... All the men in the world stop giving these gold digging whores attention. What would happen to them? That's not your responsibility. It's not your responsibility to raise their self-esteem. It's not your responsibility to give them those girls self-worth. It's not your responsibility to pay those girls bills. Stop doing it. <laughs> you, and if you continue to do it, you can't complain that you're miserable. You know what I'm saying? That was super angry. I'm so sorry. Um... Women, like I was saying, have so many options now that they're t they're kind of overshadowing men, you know, where it's like women, women are the top leaders. So sooner or later, when, when, women will be the billionaires and the, and the trillionaires, et cetera, et cetera. So then where, where does that leave men? Women are, are so many female leaders in the workplaces. So where does that leave men? Where there's, there's no, the whole goal was equality. That was the goal. But now we're, <laughs> we're making it uneven again. The goal, like I said, was equality. And we're, we're forgetting that. Um, God, what does this have to do with how men should talk to women? Um, do you think that men are forced to teach themselves how to, how to be a, an upstanding member of society while women are guided? Women are, there are more people who are willing to to teach women as opposed to men? Or do you think that men just won't listen? Or do you think that men are just too proud? I think that if a man is lucky, he'll find someone to guide him. Um, last bit and then I gotta go to work. God, the, <laughs> the stares I've been getting at work of, of like, why is this girl with one arm working? Because I, I got no choice. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and I'm sure that you're thinking workman's comp. It's not that deep to me. It's really not that deep. Like, if anything, like, you, I don't mind. I really don't mind. I don't want to sit in the house all day. Um, did you ever see the, I don't remember the name of the movie. Fucking, I forgot the name of the movie, but um, she's telling this guy the story of her life and her promiscuous history. And at the end of the movie, he shuts off the light and he tries to have sex with her. And she says, what are you doing? And he says, I thought this is what you wanted. And, and she ends up killing him at the end. But um, why did I smile when I said that? Men are very simple-minded, and I don't mean that in a cruel way, and I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. But men are very simple-minded. You you tell them X, Y, and Z, they'll do X, Y, and Z. Men are men are better at following instructions, while women are question everything, right? So if you 
when, when men say things like, oh, um, I learned from TV shows, I, I learned from watching them, teaching myself, or I'm learning from, from <laughs> I'm learning from you. So they think that all women are the same. I had a guy come up to me the other day, actually, and he slapped my thigh. He slapped and he grabbed onto it and he said, I like it. And I said, that's too much, that's too far. What are you doing? That means that another girl liked that. And he thought in his mind, every girl likes that. So do I have a right to get upset? I mean, kind of, yeah, because like you have to read the room. You have to, you have to be able to read the room. You have to be able to adapt, you know? Not every woman likes to be treat, treat likes to be treated in a certain way. And like I said, if you're not dating, don't touch me. If we're not dating, don't talk to me about sex. If we're not dating, don't talk to me about porn. God, it's just common sense, common sense, common sense. Um <laughs> I wrote something down, it was really mean, but I wrote down people ask me who my dream man is, not you. Stop focusing so much on women. If you if you have a high sex drive, if you have a high sex addic addiction, porn is easily available. You don't know, like get get a sex buddy. And make sure that that is consensual. Maybe he's re maybe write down a contract, which sounds so stupid, but actually at work the other night, um, the the guys in the back they were talking about porn, and I was like, "This is cool. This is nice. Yes, talk talk to you amongst amongst your your fellow species. That's nice. Just don't just don't bring it over here. You know what I'm saying? Um." Like I was saying, a lot of these men have no guidance. And a lot of these women have too much. Too much guidance. How will I know that a girl is attracted to me? You'll know. You'll you'll just feel it. She'll 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 make advances towards you. She's always smiling at you. She she gets excited seeing you. She gets excited hearing from you. And you don't have to make them uneasy. How do I know if I'm making her uneasy? Ha! <laughs> You'll know. Um. Last, 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 last thing. Um. So I last night I watched the film Mother with Jennifer Lawrence and Javier Bardem and Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh my God! Can we talk about how great Michelle Pfeiffer is? But um. A lot of these times, which what you hear, what you'll hear a guy say is. You're my muse. You're my inspiration. But don't make me seem like a siren. And I hope that you understand the reference siren. Where just being around my presence, hearing my voice is going to drive you mad. Like I said, it's not other women's job to fix you. Ask Ask your, your pastor, get a mentor, um, hire a dating coach, talk to, did I already say talk, get a pastor? Um, or otherwise, ask your mother where your father was. That was really mean, but it's true. Lack of men in the household. This is the trickle down effect. Bye.